that morning to all of you. Um, I got my truck in the driveway, as you can see. Um, better look at the uh, AFE Stage 2 Pro Drive intake here. A good look at the stock Ford Motorcraft POS. Um, gotta take all of this out to get all of that in. So, uh, about ready to get to it. Alright, as you can see, battery terminals are in fact removed. Um, just to be safe, I disconnected that battery since, of course, they are linked. So, uh, I have this, these zip tied over. Um, these are just sitting here on my grounds. I got the uh, two runs for my amps back there. Anyways, I'm left with this. This is pretty easy. Last thing I think I remember is it just pops off like that. Pops off, boom. As you can see, the Odyssey there, 1750. AFE. It has an AFE aftermarket filter in it, but not good enough. Um, these batteries, in fact, are badass a little spendy um, I think these one these ones were like two 290 a piece 289 a piece something like that um, but I must have uh, I'm not even talking about car stereo um, I'm talking about just a must have in, in general um, diesel trucks these things are amazing have incredible cold cranking amps have incredible reserve these things are just outstanding the warranty on these things is like four year warranty no questions asked and then it's eight year prorated after that so you have some sort of some form of warranty for 12 years on this battery and I talked to the rep guy he hasn't had any of these come back to him um, they're that good as opposed to a regular lead acid battery or anything like that that has an average life of about three years you know if this thing even hiccups within four you get a new one you know what I mean so that being said as you can see here you have a stock like that right here is the hole for the air um, it comes through this piece right here heavily restricted I mean that that turbo's got to breathe truck's got to breathe you know, my right foot's got to breathe. So, we're going to fix this. I'm going to pull this out. Uh, show you guys the filter. Take it out, piece by piece. That ordeal. Uh, one of the things that sucks about planning on doing something is Mother Nature really doesn't give two shits about it. Some of you guys know how I feel. Um, this, I just took the... The... Uh, what you call it off that thingamaditter. Uh, that right there is, of course, the aftermarket AFE stock replacement filter. Um, it's still still fairly clean. I mean, you can see the light through it, so that's good. Um, not too much debris in it, but uh, I'm gonna hold on to this because I know a couple guys who are running sock trucks and they still they still think the paper filters are the shit so I'm gonna try and turn them, turn them away from that uh, as you can see here look at that that's all I have for air right there coming through this in, through this intake that's all I have just this little I'm gonna pull the tape out for you guys a little bag of tricks here Three and a half by six and a half. Okay, three and a half by six and a half. Where does that fit on here? Three and a half. By <laughs> Actually, let's go six and a half. So it's it's this of my filter, right there. I mean, really. So that's why I'm doing this. You know, it's it's gonna make a world of difference. So this is the factory tube here can't really see down into it 
But uh yeah. Okay. Half of the air box is out. Um I got a question for the YouTube fan base here. If any of you guys know. Get my little HTC flashlight out. Now I know some intakes will have oil in them. I'm not really concerned about that. But what I am concerned about is the fact that the wheel down in there is a little black. I don't know if it's uh, it might have been blocked to begin with. That's what it looks like. That's probably what it was. I don't know. If any of you guys know what kind of wheel that is, let me know. So I don't go out and buy a wicked wheel and replace it with a wicked wheel. You know what I mean? But uh, other than that, still trying to figure out how this thing get this thing out. So let's see here. Ah. Oh, my right nose. We got one tab on the back side of this. I just got a manhandle out of here somehow. So, let's see if I can do it and hurt myself at the same time. What the hell? Motivational bar. some shit to get it out. Ah. Oh, uh, there we go. Added the pile. Okay, a little sooty in here. Yeah, we love that sit, 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 sit. Um, let's see here. Also, if any of you guys know what the hell this is, I have a fucking jumper from, I don't know, one of the main harnesses. It, it just plugs into a plug that the other one right here can easily reach, but it bypasses it with a, a fused link. Like, I don't know if there was a section of wire that was bad and they had to splice it out. If any of you guys know about that, let me know. Also, if any of you guys know how to clean or if I should replace a mass airflow sensor let me know or maybe that's maybe that's not airflow temp maybe that or flow sensor maybe that's a, a temperature a thermal air air intake temperature yeah that's probably what that is probably what that is so I'll, I'll leave that even though it's ugly all right as you can see still raining all right uh, I got my truck parked halfway under the awning here and boom That's that so far. Uh, like I said, bolted right in. AV does not slack on quality. This thing, it's like, uh, I don't know, 24 gauge steel, I think what it is. It's just pretty thick. So, alright guys, uh, I know I've been slouching over here. I had a couple technical difficulties with running the uh, aught gauges into the intake. Um, but uh, I got it in, had to come down to the stereo shop, and uh, had to come down to the stereo shop, get some new terminals and stuff like that. So this is it right now. I haven't mounted these down yet, but uh, 